Hello everyone, it's me Mooder on YouTube, and today I would like to play uh, a game that I would say is probably one of my favorite games of all time. A uh, roguelike called The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, uh, but this is the uh, the DLC called Repentance. So I guess it's The Binding of Isaac Repentance, but point is, I love this game a lot. Uh, I've been playing it a whole lot recently because of the... Um, DLC for it that came out, and uh, I even have some of the secret characters over here, the uh, different ones. But to start out this little mini series of just doing runs, I'm gonna start out with Isaac. Basic character, the groundwork. Uh, cool, we start on the cellar, nice. Um, I, I've been playing this game a whole lot, and I'm not good at it by any means. I'm pretty, pretty garbage at it. I'm just very not good at dodging. I am only good at playing this game when I have really broken runs. And, uh, speaking of... Speaking of, uh, luck... Hey! Oh! Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I've been playing this a lot recently. It's been a lot of fun for certain characters. Certain characters are very fun to play. Others, uh, make me want to hurl. But, uh... Okay, yep. <laughs> um, but I thought I might as well give give it a shot to record. I just think it might be a bit of a fun time. And you can see me doing poorly. Although I think that's just uh, these enemies are really annoying to deal with in general, personally. I'm sure everyone will disagree. I'm sure a good friend of mine will be watching this and already disliking the video. If you're watching this, please don't dislike the video. It hurts my feelings, but you know... Um, so I'm just going to try to trek through, I'm going to try to be at least a little successful. <clears throat> Emphasis on the word try, because I'm really, really bad at this game. But, uh, hey, here's hoping I just get lucky, I'm going to ignore that fucker. Uh, yeah, I, actually, I think this run might be set now that I have Explosivo. <laughs> Oh, that's golden. Oh god, is this- I'm pretty sure this will like almost insta-kill him. <laughs> it does it for half of us so far. Mm. Uh, you see, you gotta hold on to the good things in this game. I, I, there's been so many times the rest of recent where I've just been so, so not having fun playing this. It's moments like this. It's almost like this you gotta, uh, gotta cherish. On the off chance that anyone out there who is watching for me instead of the gameplay, um, uh, so, you, so you don't really know anything about this game, real qu I'll real quickly explain the plot. Uh, you are Isaac. Your mom is being told by God to kill you. Uh, so you run into the basement. And uh, you have some fun times. Fight these guys, you know. That's how it is. That's really all there is to say about it. Um, ooh. This over here is a tinted rock because it's a slightly different color from the others. Uh, you, you go out and find items. Some items are really good, some items are really bad, some aren't adequate. If you, uh, played this game, though, you'll likely find that a lot of items you grab probably aren't going to be good ones, because sometimes this game just loves to give you the worst luck possible. But hey, sometimes it gives you... gives you some pretty good stuff. I feel like, so far, this is a run that's been giving me some pretty okay items. Explosivo is, in my opinion, the best one, but, uh... Spinky item is really good for, uh, making your fire rate higher. Uh, the syringe I got, it's okay. It's not my favorite item just because the way it works so you have to get hit. This room sucks. Oh, God, I hate this room. Actually, it's not that bad when you're fast. I, uh, that's the thing. I was playing this uh, game earlier with a character who can't fly, because you can fly in this game sometimes. I was playing a character you can't fly and had a really slow speed. And that room is... Wow. Okay, please. Oh! 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 Fuck! God 
damn. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, this is a pretty good r Oh my god! Mm. Why'd I do that? Whatever. We have soul hearts anyway. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll quickly explain the hearts while I get this tinted rock. Uh, these blue hearts over here, uh, the thing is with them is that they act like normal health. Except, uh, instead of the red hearts that you can refill, you cannot refill soul hearts. Uh, once, once they're gone, they're gone forever. Which may seem like a bad thing, but I think they do spawn pretty regularly. Not, not pretty regularly, but like, they spawn enough so like where you don't feel like you're, like, at a loss or anything. This is a devil deal room. I have never seen this sack. Oh, that's weird. Um... This is a devil deal room. What it does is, uh, it has cool items in it, like, uh, so, well, some, some really cool items, but they cost your health. This one, though, uh, what this item does right here is it makes sure that the item will always show up, no matter what. Because usually, or, or the, the room will always show up, no matter what. Because usually the case with devil deal rooms is that, uh, they have a chance of showing up. And the chance is lowered when you take damage on a floor. But now that I have a uh, goat head, I have a guaranteed chance to get one. It also has a guaranteed chance to uh, give me an angel room if I wanted to go for them. Which is the opposite of a devil room, obviously. And the way you get those is by ignoring uh, devil deal items. So, uh... Yeah, no, it's a, it's a fun little system. This game has a lot of cool shit about it. I don't know how much I can go on talking about it in solo commentary without me uh, boring myself or viewers, so... I'm gonna try not to talk too much about how the game works, because I'm sure anyone who's watching this is just here to watch Isaac anyway. At least I would expect that. Because who watches Mooder for Mooder besides himself? Uh, flooded basement or flooded caves is, I think, is it one of my least favorite areas? No, I don't hate it. I don't like a lot of the enemies in the flooded caves, but um, they're not the worst. Oh. Yeah, now that I have PhD, those pills that keep dropping, all of them will literally be like good ones. That they, like ones that do really good shit for me, which is fantastic. Because usually pills uh, have a chance to be a really bad one. Ones that can lower your health. Ones that can, wow, well, ones that can just straight up do damage to you. I don't want to get that card right now. Uh, yeah, stuff that can lower your stats. Stuff that can just make the screen look bad. That they still haven't made any better, even though they said they made it better. And, uh, I, I, you know what? If I run out of things to talk about, which I think I have, um, I want to talk real quick about, uh, this game and, uh, the update that happened for DLC Repentance. First of all, um, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not. But, uh, making updates to your game that, uh, fix, like, bugs that were really annoying, or just have, like, changes in it that make the game better, or just, just kind of balance it out, having it be DLC exclusive, in my opinion, is pretty stupid. Decap attack. <laughs> That's funny. Nah. Oh, it's HP up, that's fine. Uh, I forgot I unlocked that item. But yeah, having it behind a... Eh, I guess it's kind of a paywall to me. H having it hidden behind a DLC is kind of... Annoying, because I guess... It's like you have to pay to have these fixes and balances. Which is really dumb to me. But I at the same time... I like it just because, like, I can turn off the DLC to, like, go back to previous Isaac versions. 
or like go back to mods and Afterbirth Plus, which is another DLC. But eh, overall, I'm like, I kind of wish that it was just. I, I, I kind of wish that all the updates and stuff were free, but can't ask for too much because there is a bunch of content in, in said DLC. So it makes sense why it's paid for, but I just think that it's a little annoying. Speaking of uh, Repentance, though, the DLC, um, I'm not going to lie to you, when it first came out, I was excited, and then like a few days after, or like a day or two after it came out, I was not excited at all, and I thought that a lot of the changes were stupid, and I was really upset because they changed a lot of stuff. They changed so much, um, so, so much like uh, synergies that used to be possible with certain items were removed and it made me just think that they removed all fun in the game and I got really upset because it feels like that a lot of stuff was more focused on difficulty than f focused on fun because of the new stuff they added and some of the balances they did. However, I'm mistaken. Um, even though it feels like they focus on difficulty, at the same time, they kinda didn't. Uh, there are a lot of difficult things, but they didn't remove the fun? But they instead put fun into other things. Hi, Gertie. Like, for example, certain synergies that used to be absolutely broken and, like, hilarious. Some no longer exist, but they are instead replaced with new ones. And, you know what? That's enough for me. Like, I, like, I think that's... As much as I'm upset about certain things being removed, I'm happy that there's... More stuff being added. Money equals power and little delirium. Money equals power is kind of cool. Mm, nah, you know what? Let's go. Nah, I'll go for angel rooms. And you know what? Uh, I've realized that I'm talking about the DLC a lot and I'm not even going down like the alternate path that the DLC is... But, um, I, I guess what I can do instead is, uh, go down a different path that's not entirely the alternate path that this DLC in, uh, includes, but more of a, just a different boss fight. Which is a very cool one, in my opinion. I'm very happy it's added, and I'm taking awful damage because I suck. I'm not at all a dodger. I'm very bad at it. My brain gets overwhelmed by seeing multiple enemies, so I'm just like, cannot dodge what do. But you know what, it's fine. I have a lot of health, I'm gonna lose most of it at the end of this floor, probably, with that attitude. But, uh, could be worse. At least I'm playing Isaac. Isaac is a really good character, in my opinion. Not like, the, like, not, when I say really good, I don't mean like, really powerful or anything, it's just, uh, his, uh, item I have, the one that can, uh, re-roll items, like, change it into a different one. Uh, that's one of my favorite things about him. Because uh, you can either reroll into a really shitty item, or a really good item. And so far, I feel like I've been on the really good side of things. Even that uh, bomb, or like that thing I got earlier, the blood thing. I was upset earlier because I thought it was just a bomb upgrade. Which, I don't even know if it is, it probably isn't. But, uh, you know, I've been getting some really good stuff. It was an HP up as well, so... What's there to complain about? I hate Curse of Darkness so much. Thankfully, I can see everything, but whoa, that dodge wall. Oh my god. <sighs> I hope the footage is showing up right. I would I would be really upset if my computer was lagging at binding of Isaac footage, which I'm sure it's not. Oh. Once I, once I get a better computer, what would be cool if I could, it was, a uh, Fuck. If I had a better computer, which I probably will hopefully soon, it would be neat to, uh... Take it. To, um, record co-op runs that me and a friend have been doing, which have been... Something. It's, fuck, I, I was, uh, for some reason my brain was paying attention to the middle. Shit, man.
Yep. Cool. And a secret room. I completely forgot to even think about these. Secret rooms are rooms that are hidden off from the map over here. They don't show up until you break the wall that you think they are at. Okay, yeah, just a bomb upgrade as well. Uh, and they usually contain something random. Something usually pretty neat. I'm very happy I found that one, because now I have money. Ah! Fuck these worms so much. Let's see if there's anything cool in here. Nothing I really want. Take this though. And speaking of it, I'm going to put in the donation machine. Uh, the donation machine, if anyone is wondering, uh, is originally supposed to be for when, uh, when, when you would put money in there, it would upgrade the store, or give you an item or something. Like, like you'd put a certain amount of money in there. But, uh, now... <gasps> Ooh. Wait, will that work to a shop I've already... Will that work on a shop I've already been to? Oh, fuck yeah, I will, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna wait till I go to a different store that has something better. What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. That's so annoying. I'm sure I'm going to be annoyed while editing this or something. Maybe I'll remember it if I just go back into the room I was at. Nope. <laughs> Whatever, I was probably just talking about secret rooms or some shit like that. Yeah, as you can see, this uh, trinket I picked up, the bottom left thing, which is like a miniature item in a way. Uh, it's called store credit. It gives me one store item for free. <gasps> oh, yeah. I'm firing so fast. I hate both of those items. Wait. I hate both of those items. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Did I even go to the item room in there? I already forgot. Oh, yeah, it was a ball and chain. Eh? That laugh you just heard is this. Yep, that thing. It's usually not a skeletal hand, but... Uh, yeah, that's Mother's Hand. Oh, goodness. But yeah, while I'm here, I'll talk about, uh... Earlier I mentioned that hopefully I'm getting a new computer soon, and yes, that is true. I'm going to get a new computer, which means I can make better content, because... I have a lot of games that I would like to record, and wow, wow, Matthew, wow. Um, but my computer is ass. I could probably record VR games when uh, I have the new computer, actually, and that would be great. That would be good. I'd love to record just hanging out in VR chat or something. Oh, this is a this is a bomb beggar. He takes bomb. No. Oh, he takes bombs, and if you try to blow him up, which you can do with some beggars, he uh, gets pissed off and tries to blow you up. And thankfully, my ball and chain demonstrated that for me. So, I'm <sighs> thank God I have goat head. Don't even know why I'm going for angel rooms, actually. I think this is the part where I'm going to come off as really ignorant. I actually don't know how going for angel rooms works, like if you've already picked up a devil deal item. In fact, you probably can't anymore. But I feel like that the whole thing about the goat head was, uh... Like... It could spawn... Or it, could, it could give you 100% guaranteed access to devil and angel rooms, but I think I'm... Just wrong about that. Either they changed it, or I'm completely remembering it wrong, but still. And who knows, maybe the whole thing is that you're not even supposed to go into the devil or the angel room to, uh... Or you're... Sorry. I'm tired. Uh, maybe the whole thing is that you're not even supposed to go into the devil room at all to get the angel room chance. Instead of just simply ignoring the item. In this case... I sincerely apologize. 
I like to think I know some shit about this game, but in reality, I sometimes do not. And I'm gonna die here very soon if I don't improve my performance at least a little bit. No hearts at all. So a little frustrating. Would love if uh, anything could just die at a whim. Pretty neat. Why did I do that? I don't even need more keys. Ah. No. Good god, that's worse. Fuck it, I'm not even gonna use it, so I'll demonstrate it. It's not that bad of an item, I just... Actually, yeah, no, I hate that item. Wow, okay, so this... this. Fuck it, if this run ends 20 minutes in, I'll, uh... Yeah. Cool. <sighs> wow. That was the coolest moment of dodging I've ever had in my entire goddamn life. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> uh. Please give me enough. Four more, please. There's so much depression going through my veins right now. You know what? To go down the alt path, play with my boy. The reason I'm playing as Azazel is because he's the easiest character. He has a brimstone beam that just goes through everything, man. Specifically, it goes through weaker enemies pretty good. Also, I got hit anyway, so it shows you how good I am. It is a short... Thanks, Edmund, for making those enemies. I don't want to... Oh, look at the damage you took, Toxic... Does that even work with... No, it... It doesn't... Bean. What the f... Skipping... What would skipping tears even do? Watch this. Wow. You might as well reset your run if you get something that just doesn't affect Azazel. The way to reset your run is... Ow. Might as well want to do that after I got hit right there, but uh... So hold down the R key. I'm... I'm yeah. Whoa. Come on. You know, sure, I'll go in here too, just because I have the full card. Worth it, totally, yep. Usually those rooms will have something, either health, more items. Uh, justice, cool. Fun. That is a troll face bomb, by the way, in case you wanted to know. I have no idea what this item does, actually. Contagion? Is that gonna, like... Is it, it better not... Whoa. Oh, maybe that does it. Oh! You know what? That might be okay. I don't know if I want anything in here. I guess Tarot Cloth is pretty cool. That's a pretty good item for people who are clumped together. Uh, also, that uh, that backpack I have. Uh, what that does is uh, the uh, the item that Isaac had, the the the, uh, the die in the top left. That uh, was an active item, which is an item that you use by pressing the space bar. Has a certain amount of charges. It's cool. I'm going down the alt path this time to a downpour. And, uh, 
What this backpack does is it lets me hold two of those. And by the way, the salt path, I'll quickly explain, is a part of the DLC. Uh, this was originally in a mod called Anti-Birth, which is a very popular mod. And uh, the people on the Isaac team, they got the devs of that mod to make the new update. I think that's really cool. Whew. Oh no. I'm just make sure that my Yep, OBS is fine. Yeah, another big problem I have with this game that no one else has, it's just a me thing I'm pretty sure, is a constant or consistent uh, frame drops sometimes, or just freezing. Not in this, It's not actually really frame drops, it's mostly just the game will freeze sometimes. Yeah, also, this character's cool because he can fly, just over shit. So I can just stay over something like a coward and fire. Which uh, I think Edmund thought of in advance, the creator of this game, because uh, these exist spike rocks, which hurt you if you fly over them. Ain't that fun? But yeah, devs of anti birth helped repentance. They made a downpour. Which is, uh, or they just made the alt path in general. And I think that, um,. Repentance does change it up quite a bit. I, I didn't play much of Anti-Birth though, so I wouldn't know. But I think that it did change it up quite a bit, and uh... Is that... Is that the thing that lets me fire in many directions? Yeah, it is. It has a chance to, at least. I wonder if I can demonstrate it. While I'm talking. Uh, yep, there it is. Cool. But yeah, uh, the salt path is neat. The devs did a great job on it. It's pretty fun. Very annoying sometimes, but fun nonetheless. Some of the bosses added are... Uh... Undesirable. Ooh, I'll do it. Give me more damage, please. Yeah, baby. <gasps> yeah, baby. You know what? It's a pretty good run. Gotta say, uh, playing Azazel has made this a lot better. Everything's better when Azazel's around. I, I, I love this guy. It doesn't look the prettiest right now, but, you know. And if you and uh nah. Oh, does that even work with him? Probably not. Oh, it does. Oh my god, it does. Oh fuck you. Oh, you're over here. Oh god. I think I was going to mention, uh, I don't know if I should should put a disclaimer on if you don't like body horror or, like, just scary-looking grotesque creatures in general. Don't watch this video. I probably should, just in case that there's anyone out there like that. Which, I'm, I mean, there are. I'm, I'm certainly... There are definitely things that I cannot handle looking at. For example, I hate maggots. Fortunately for me, there's a lot in this floor. Or not this floor, in the alt path, uh, on a certain floor there are. Which is cool. But, you know, we all have our things. I will definitely say this game is not for the weak stomach. I feel like I sound like an asshole saying that. Do I sound like an asshole saying that? Eh, whatever. Uh, but here's the kicker about the alt path. 
now I am a ghost. And now I go all the way up to this mirror. I go into it. And now we're in like a weird reverse world kind of thing. Uh, but here I have knife piece one. What I could do is go all the way down there and fight a boss to get another f item, but nah, not really worth it. I mean, it probably is considering I'm playing Azazel and it'd be easy, I just... I don't feel like lengthening the playthrough by another minute. <gasps> Here's Rainmaker, he's my favorite. Too bad he died very quickly. <gasps> I need to make sure I don't get hit at all. Please don't make that age poorly. Thank you, Krampus. Head of Krampus is a cool item. It uh, does, does a quadruple brimstone beam. Uh, I might as well just go down straight to mines and or ash pit. Mines it is. Mines is a cool place. Um, I like that item. Thank god doesn't make me look grosser than I already do. I'll go over here. Nah. <gasps> Gotta say. I am really, really liking this run. Good damage. Ghost, ghost pepper tears constantly. Uh, range up. So my beam is even more effective. Uh, range down. After I just got range up. Love to see it. Uh, this is a dice room. I don't want to do that. <gasps> my, my perfection! I found my new least favorite enemies that I'm going to complain about and then everyone's going to tell me what are you talking about, they're not bad. Okay, well this run went from broken as hell to... okay. Nah, just kidding. It's good. It's, it's still a good run. It's just not as good as it was like 30 seconds ago. What's this? Furp. Furp. I'll keep it. In case I get a good pill again. of clubs, multiplies the bombs. These fuckers explode, I hate them. Ooh, Dreamcatcher. That would be good for... Planetariums, but at the same time, do I really need planetariums right now? Not really. I gotta take that chance, you know. The reason it's good for planetariums, which I'll quickly try to very quickly explain, uh, if you skip item rooms, which are like the rooms with the crown icon that I've been going into, uh, if you skip a good amount of them, cool, this guy, uh, you have a chance to get what's called a planetarium room, which is, a uh, a room that's filled with a special kind of item, and all of them are pretty good. And by say all of like all of them, like certain ones are really good, and the rest are, eh, they're pretty good. And uh, that's really the appeal in them. You can uh, skip item rooms that you will think that have like okay items in them, 
Fuck these guys, by the way. I actually hate them with all my f being. Uh. Cool. Uh. Whatever I was saying, you can skip items that could be okay and just in favor of getting an item that will be pretty damn good. Ooh. Evil up. What's in here? Evil PhD. Nah. Uh, but the way the Dreamcatcher works is that the dream sequence right here that I keep skipping. Wait. Oh no, that was a good item. Well, so I'm not going for planetariums. Uh, hi. This room right here uh, leads to the next knife piece. Which I could gather all that shit, or I could just... You're supposed to press buttons all over the, uh, the current floor to uh, open this up. But I decided to say no. So this resets all your stats. Except for your health, I'm pretty sure. I think it used to, or I'm wrong. My friends were just saying if it did, it would be awful. But, uh... Yeah, this place is, uh, fun. Pick this up. Here we go. So what you're supposed to do here is run like hell. You're usually supposed to, you know, solve these little mini puzzles, and by that I just mean blow up the rocks to go past, but fortunately we can fly, making this a breeze. She chases you throughout this entire little section right here. Till you leave. And you're back to your normal self. Or your normal self. Yeah, that's how uh, that's how you do the alt path, or that's how you get the the hard part at least. And by the hard part, I mean the uh, the steps to continue it really. Um, maybe later. Hello, bitches. Don't expand, please. Thank you. Stop. I thought the thing with mazes, or Curse of the Maze, is that they don't take you to rooms you've already been before. Unless I wasn't too that way, I wasn't. Was I? Was I? I'm not even paying attention, I'm like, I'm trying to actually think to myself, was I? I could have sworn I was in this room. Oh, whatever. Let's try this beggar out. He takes your coins, usually in exchange for a health item. And might as well. Good to have health. I mean, it's good to have health, but I don't have, like... Okay, I... You see, he's giving me health, but he's not giving me, like, a health item. You just blew yourself up. I... That, that, has, that, that hasn't happened to me in years. I have not had a coin beggar just accidentally blow himself up in literal, like, years. That is... Wow. I'm kind of angry. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pissed off. Not gonna lie. I'm even more pissed off at that. I think I'm actually like getting worse at the game while I, while as I play it. No, thank you. I wanted to get this so bad. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. That item lets you see, like, all of the map at all times, which is very good. Very, very good. What's in here? Good, because I already spent all my money on that beggar earlier. Ah, oh, it even gives you secret room locations. Love to see that. So here's what we're going to do. Dink. What a neat little room. Yeah. 
In case someone is confused as to why we gathered this knife, what it's, what it's used for... Uh, it opens a door later. It's practically a key, you could say. Uh, fuck it. I have bombs to spare. What's this? Yo, can I have that again? Yeah, baby. These guys are annoying. You have to blow them up and then hit them. Thankfully, this is uh, not that annoying. Usually, they just take a bit. <gasps> HP up! Where's the devil room? There it is. I don't really like that one all too much. So, this, this door over here, which is uh, being covered by the HUD, but I hate it because... Ow. Ow. And that's how you continue the alt path. So you might be asking, but how do you continue if you only have like two hearts? You don't. You, you, you just, you don't. You give up. You, 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 you don't even do the alt path anymore. And if that sounds like I'm joking, I'm not. You either gotta hope you find, like, like there's a health up item in a secret room that you missed or something, which there are only two. Uh, or you just straight up give up, don't even go down the alt path. And you may be saying, well, I mean, then just don't go down there if you only have two hearts. Here's the thing, there are health down pills. I think this was SMB Superfan. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like I said, there are, uh, health down pills, which, uh, can actually remove the max amount of health you have. And there's also, what's it called? What, what else is there? There's items that can lower your health, I'm pretty sure. I think there, no, wait, actually, no, there's not. There's, I think there might be, but I don't remember. My point is that there's devil deal items as well. <gasps> oh, I can hold on to two of these! And I, oh my god, I completely... What one do I take? I'll use this one first. Good, good, good. Now I will take Book of Belial. Because that's damage up, and I like damage up. That one does give me a temporary shield, but... I got damage. You tease. You motherfucking. You piece of shit. Man! It was not worth it. This shop is gonna have, like, nothing. <gasps> oh! You know what? It's not nothing. And you know what? And you know what? And uh, that should be all. Yeah, that'll be all. If I was talking about anything before, I completely lost it, so I apologize if I've uh, once again trailed myself off in my own thought, my own dumb brain of mine. But you know what? I like to think of that as a charm with me, how fucking stupid I am. So I hope someone can agree. Speaking of... Preparing to blow yourself up this time, bitch. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Please! This is a really stupid decision. I... Oh my god. I swear to God, if these last coins, nope, yep, give me some of my money back. Hello, you motherfucker, you took my knife. And you know what? No, just for that, just for that. Die. 
Oh my god. Oh god, dude. It's like the game's just giving me all this stuff to just make me happy. I don't think I want either of those. But it's already too late to go from... Mm -hmm. Whatever, I'll take it anyway. The one on the right was Thunder Thighs, I think, unless it was Lard. Either way, it's a health up. Except one of them is just better. <laughs> but I might not need it. Duh. Two birth, one stone. It's never even worth blowing those guys up. They never give anything except for spiders that are hostile. Wait. No! The tears up that I just got! I know I've already explained it, but just in case I edit it out because of the previous lost run. Uh, tears up or tears down. Uh, tears just means fire rate. It's like how fast I can charge this beam or how fast tears can fire out of Isaac. Jesus Christ. As you can see, my tier, my, my tier rate's pretty high because of how fast I'm charging this beam. It usually takes a little longer than this. Not too long. Azazel's pretty fast with it, but, uh... Oh yeah, I don't even have enough room to pick up the health. So funny when it comes to that, when I have so much health that I literally can't pick up any more. Well... Maybe I should just stop speaking. Oh wow, a flight item. This gives me an eternal heart. Oh yeah, the magnet. Thunder thighs. I'm glad it was that and not the tub of lard because that, that's just thunder thighs but worse. It's HP up and speed down. No substance, no style. But AK, uh, what this does, or not AK, what this does is uh, I can destroy rocks. I'm walking through them. Pretty good, cool, huh? Ah, oh, that blanket would be useful. If I wasn't full on health already. I guess it gives you, it gives you soul hearts. Oh, I'm an idiot. This is a puzzle. But I don't care, because I hate that puzzle. Oh, I hate these guys. Thank God. Wait, no, I wasn't paying attention. I was actually like looking at the map. Oh. Good god, can these guys just stop? Okay, please, secret room. Please give me something good. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> I should get a fucking lottery ticket at this point. That wasn't even worth it. I don't even care. Alright. Now, uh... Boss Rush. Is that anything good? That's Mom's Contact, Freezing Tears, this Almond Milk shit. That's... Give me a second. Virgo. Um. Nah. That's not too necessary. What was this one down here? No, these are really necessary. But, uh... Um, what I'll do is I'll grab the negative because it's a damage upgrade base. And that knife opens that door right there. Which I fight Mom's heart early on. You are not supposed to fight her right here. You are supposed to fight her as you go deeper into the game. However, 
You can do it right here to unlock the rest of the alt path. Because if you fight her heart right here, you unlock the corpse, which is my least favorite area in the entire game. If you hate rotting things, do not watch further. Or do, and just close your eyes and don't pay attention to the gameplay. Instead, listen to my soothing voice. That was the worst thing I've ever said. Oh, wow. Also, goddamn, I keep forgetting I have this contagion item or whatever. That, that is so good. It just removes enemies. As if I didn't already have enough removing enemy items. So gross. This, this is really how a fucking human body rots. I don't ever want to die. Is that a free item? Right there? I'll gladly take it. Thank you very much. Tears up and knock back shot. Did I even do... Did I just do like two different acts? I don't even fucking... I should shut up. I'm never gonna get a voice acting job if I just do shitty voices all the time. And again, that hasn't stopped the Sonic voice actors. <laughs> I'm never going to get a job if I keep saying shit like that. Um, thank god I have a lot of damage so I don't have to deal with these guys for too long. Yeah, just get out of what was that noise? Is that this? Is this from over here? I don't want to go in that room. I want to go in this room. <gasps> More tears up. Bro, my birthday's in like, what month is it? May? Like four months, man. You really gotta pull all this shit on me right now and I got a bad trip. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. God, this is annoying. What the hell? He's getting stuck on shit. Alright. Okay, who am I gonna fight? Oh, hey, the enemy that my friend was complaining about earlier. Or the boss. Let me see how bad he really is. Ooh. Ow. Okay, well that was just me being bad at the game. I could have easily avoided that damage. Hey, I got Leviathan. Cool. Whoa. Well, Sulfur? Wait a minute. Wait, that's literally just Book of Belial, but better in my opinion, but... If it stacks, though... I hope it stacks, though. <laughs> Definitely gonna save that for this boss. But yeah, now that I'm here in uh, Corpse 2, uh, we're at the f pretty much final boss of this floor, specifically. So that means the run's almost over, and you guys can stop watching. Sorry for my runs probably not being that entertaining, but you know what? I want to start it just because... I don't, for some reason I think it'd be really fun to just have this as a series on the channel, because I love this game, I really enjoy playing it, and uh, I don't know, I think it's fun documenting things for me to look back on, or just to have in general, so, Isaac Runs will, will be what I document for dot 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 document. I'm not joking you, I literally forgot the word that I just said. Like, I like I forgot how to say document. Like, I... Oh, God. I hope someone finds my stupidity charming in some way. Because it's never going away. Not only do I have Isaac footage, but I also have, like... 
Man, I also have like like three other videos that I like three or four other videos I want to make. I recorded Fall Guys with my friends. I recorded Roblox with my friends. I do not know how I could have possibly avoided all that. I recorded one part of a Little Nightmares Let's Play. Still trying to work on that one. Uh, I have a lot of content to work off of, so I don't know why I'm recording more for myself. I don't know, I've just been in a mood, I guess. Alright. This hole right here? Here we go. Here's Mother! Or as me and my friends like to call her, uh, the Witness. <gasps> oh, I have the big brimstone! Well, okay, well now that I have my upgrades, uh, wow, it doesn't matter, any I might die on this floor. But yeah, this bitch, this bitch is so annoying to fight! Big, oh, big beam! Uh, she's already brought down my health a shit ton and I forgot she has that attack. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm definitely... <gasps> oh no. Okay. Well, um. The run was good. Until I fucked it all up. Alright, that's enough, Isaac, for me. Probably for another week now. I actually don't think I can live this on. Uh, maybe I won't even do a part two just because that was so awful that I just, I'm mad at myself and I kind of just want to wish I never did this in the first place. Thank you all for watching if you did. Um, please unsubscribe. I don't deserve subscribers after that slip up. I don't want to 